Hello beginner adventurers, welcome to another exciting vlog from Andalusia, Spain. Today we will do a scenic hike to a waterfall El Saltillo de Aceituno. So let's get started. So we started the hike from the big parking down there in the village Canias de Aceituno. And we want to make this hike as a loop that we saw on the app Wikilog where you can find different hikes that many people did already. Pretty much to the waterfall, this hike is following this old water aqueduct that comes from the waterfall. Here we again see the pointless fences by the side of the road, they are a sign of Spanish culture. After about half an hour of hiking, we got to this water reservoir that seems to have a pretty clear water in it. So when we were down at the water reservoir, we went straight with the bigger road, but we should have gone left on the small trail that was not really visible. You can see more pointless fences separating these properties on the steep rocky mountains that can't really be used for anything. distance you can see the mountains Sierra Tejeda where we're hiking to the Pico del Cielo a few days ago so make sure you check out that vlog so we got a sign here the path to El Saltillo will be closed until its suitability as a marked walk is completed but doesn't say any any date and these things are quite old so this could have been here for some time. We're just gonna check it out and see. And here in the background we got the view of a high mountain called Maroma, 2069 meters and you can get there from multiple places also from where we started today but it's a hard hike takes all day with an elevation of 1300 meters. Down here we can see the main road for cars, so I think some people just park somewhere there and make a shortcut to here.
Okay, in about an hour into the hike, we got to this little house that says the same sign that the path to the waterfall is closed. The house is from 1995. And here somewhere should be the path that we're gonna make a loop around. But now we're just gonna keep going straight and soon we should get to this metal path construction on the cliff that we saw on the pictures from Wikiloc. So hopefully it's not in reconstruction or something. So hopefully we can cross it and get to the waterfall and back here. Here we got to the beginning of this uh, metal path that was suspended on the cliff and there was no gate or sign saying you can't go there so we're just gonna go for it I guess this construction must be pretty new, probably built this year because when I was looking on Wikiloc on photos from some of the older hikes there was no photos of this construction and that was just two years ago so I guess this hike must have been pretty dangerous without the support here Here you can see how the path looked like before the whole way so probably there was some accidents where people fell down and then they built the metal construction there. As we're getting closer to the waterfall, you can see these amazing rocky cliffs that could be good for rock climbing. And according to the map, the waterfall should be just behind that curve, so maybe another 5 minutes of walking. Now we finally arrived to this small waterfall called El Saltillo de Aceituno. So Spain doesn't really have a big waterfalls because it's uh, dry and hot for most of the year. And even this waterfall dries out completely during the summer months. So we are pretty lucky to see the water here which is completely drinkable and even swimming is prohibited here. Here you can see the powerful force of water that curved the slide into the rock which means that there used to be much more water flowing through here but now the environment is getting drier because of the climate change.
Okay, so we're leaving the waterfall and we're pretty impressed despite it being a small waterfall, it was uh, quite beautiful, especially the crystal clear water. Now we just have to find a place to have lunch and then we're gonna continue around making a loop. I guess the people were going underneath the cliffs down there before this construction was built. Okay, it's already past 4 o'clock in the afternoon and we're back at this house and from here we're gonna start going up on the right, making a loop. So we have more elevation and we still have almost halfway to go, so hopefully we can make it before darkness. So only after a few minutes we realized that this path is not really visible and it's not used much so it was basically orienteering according to the wikilog map There are only these rock piles marking the way sometimes Hopefully the path won't be like this the whole way because otherwise you would not make it before the darkness. point we were basically bushwhacking through this field which had a lot of spiky bushes which made the progress really slow and uncomfortable. So this was very spiky and uncomfortable path so I would not recommend it but here we got close to the cave and another path which would be much better. And here we got to this small cave which I think it's called a rabbit cave and I'm quickly gonna explore it as we don't have much time before the sunset. So the first tunnel was really small and narrow so I didn't want to get stuck there but then a few meters away we found another cave that was much bigger and we also found more smaller tunnels here. So I decided to be more adventurous and try to go with one of these small tunnels but it was finished after a few meters, so I just turned back.
and here you can again see the peak Lama Roma 2067 meters that we saw before so from here actually the path continues up till there it's another 970 meters elevation and will take another two and a half hours Alright, it's half past 5 now and we still have 400 meters of descent but the path is much better now so we should be able to make it in less than an hour before the darkness. We are really happy that we connected to this better path because the other one was completely covered with these spiky bushes they are like needles scratching all your legs up if you ever go to hike to El Saltillo waterfall I recommend coming back the same way because that connection to this path was uh, not enjoyable at all So we have only a few hundred meters to descend to the village Canelas de Aceituno where we started, but it's getting close to the sunset. So marking this in Spain is not really good, you don't see these signs very often. And even if you don't if you see them, it doesn't tell you how much time you have, where the path is going. Um, really rarely so hiking in Spain is not really popular I can tell you that Somewhere down is the path that we follow to the waterfall. Okay, the sun is down and we just checked all the way to the car we have 1 kilometer and 100 meters descent. So here it says from here to the peak of Lama Roma should take at least 4 hours and it's 9 kilometers. So it's really an all day hike with a lot of elevation. Alright, we are back at the crossroad where we started, made a loop. But as I said before, I would not recommend to do the loop because the connection to the other path was really treacherous with a lot of spiky bushes. guys i hope you enjoyed this adventure from andalusia spain and for now stay healthy and stay adventurous